Some research scholars want to do their research abroad. Some students want to do their research over here. If you are planning to do research abroad, maybe at any stage, whether you are in PhD or whether you are a postdoctorate, whether you are a faculty or anywhere associated with academia and research, then in today's video, I'm going to share about a fully funded opportunity, ICGEB Atro Falashi Fellowships. The deadline for this is 30th of September. So this is July as I'm filming this. So there is a lot of time to apply to contact PIs. And if this is something that you are interested in, then keep on watching. India as a country is already eligible for this. But if you are watching this from some other country apart from India, then first you need to check whether your country is eligible for this. For that, you will check this link. It has the list of ICGEB member states. So your country should be there in this list for you to be eligible. The subjects that are eligible for this are plant biology and biotechnology, industrial biotechnology, medical biotechnology, non-communicable diseases, and infectious diseases. So if you are anywhere connected to life sciences, biosciences, healthcare, clinical research, specifically, I had a doubt regarding clinical research also. So if you are interested anywhere in these kinds of topic, anywhere if it is linked with biology or life sciences, then you are eligible for this. In today's video, I'm going to speak about Atro Falashi Short-Term PhD Fellowships, Atro Falashi Short-Term Postdoctoral Fellowships, Smart Fellowships, Atro Falashi Postdoctoral Fellowships. We will discuss about the eligibility, the stipend, which are the documents required, and what would be the selection criteria, and on what basis you will get selected. So the location of these fellowship would be South Africa, Italy or India, okay? You can choose between three countries. One thing to note over here is if you are from India, then you can apply to the other two countries. If somebody is watching this from Italy or South Africa, then you can apply to other two countries apart from your hometown. So without further ado, let's begin with the first one, Atro Falashi Short Term PhD Fellowships. Okay, so when I was researching for this, for a moment I got confused. I thought you need to have your PhD for this, but that is not true. Okay, if you have done your graduation or if you have done your master's in any field of science, specifically related to biology or life sciences or even healthcare for that matter, then you are eligible for this. It is not necessary that you should have registered for PhD for application for this particular fellowship. This whole program will be in English. So you need to have a working knowledge of English and it should be demonstrated by a proficiency test. However, if your education is done in English, then you are waived off of this particular criteria. Okay. And this is true for all the next three fellowships. So total four fellowship we are going to speak about. So this is true for all the fellowships that I'm going to speak about in this video. The duration would be from one to 12 months. So depending on your research proposal, how much it takes, maximum is 12 months. And this is the stipend for the three locations that you will get. Your travel expenses, medical insurances, all the different kinds of expenses that are occurring that will be covered okay one thing to note over here is there is no provision for any kind of support for your family members support would be given to you i had done a video on stanford nsc fellowship so in that and even in commonwealth scholarships for that matter if you are going with your spouse your kids then support is given to them as well but in this case it is not like that next we are moving on to Atro Falashi short-term postdoctoral fellowship so this is a fully funded postdoctoral fellowship that means it has to be done after your PhD so PhD in what PhD in life sciences or a related uh, biological discipline if you don't have PhD then you should have at least three years of research experience for you to apply for this the duration would be one to six months 
and your age should be less than 35 years. One thing to note over here is this is not a fully funded postdoctoral fellowship. If you are already doing your postdoctorate and you need a research exposure for your topic, then this is something that you might want to apply. This is the stipend that you will be given, all your visa charges, health surcharges, visa permit and medical insurance will be covered. Smart Fellowships 2024. This is a fellowship. Okay. then only you will proceed with this particular application form. You need a valid identification document, passport or identity card and you need TOEFL. Okay. If TOEFL is not there, then also it's fine, but then your education should be in English. If it is not in English, then you will have to give your English proficiency test. Now, how the selection would be made? What are the different criteria and do you have to keep anything in mind so that you get selected better? Okay, so the first criteria would be scientific excellence of your project. In short, how is your research proposal? How it is written as well as what would be the structure and what it means? Okay. Basically, whenever a research proposal is evaluated, it is evaluated on two parameters. First, if there is any benefit to the society and if there is any commercial significance, meaning you are working on something that will generate a product or service that will be useful to the society. So usually the proposals are evaluated on these two conditions. The second criteria that will be evaluated is your resume. Okay, if you have been or good student throughout now the definition of good student varies time to time and everyone has different opinions about it but usually a first class throughout is considered as a good academic record that does not mean that students who have less than that cannot apply you can definitely apply but this is also one of the criteria that would be evaluated and the potential benefit to the home country 
as I already mentioned earlier, what contribution you are giving to the society, and especially they expect you to return to your home country after finishing this fellowship. Okay, so if you get a call for interview, then keep these three things in mind because you will be questioned in case you get selected and you have to appear for the interview. Okay, your bio data should be perfect, your research proposal should be top notch. I have done videos on both of this on how to write a research proposal as well as how your resume should be and what kinds of mistakes you should be avoiding in your resume. Okay. Third one, what would be the benefit to society? You need to come up with at least five, six points so that it is there at the tip of your tongue when you are questioned about. So these were the four research fellowships that you can apply if you belong to these subjects. If you belong to any other subjects and you want me to make a video about it, then type the discipline whichever subject you belong to, type the discipline and I will be more than happy to make it for you. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to leave in the comments. With that, it's a wrap till the next time. Bye.